This trick will save you some money. Right here we've got the aquarium clock test strips, but this works for any test strips. I actually learned it long, long, long ago before I ever owned a store in the when I worked in a store. You can cut the test strips in half. So you get twice as many tests. They read out the same, which is super nice. Uh, you just gotta have a nice sharp pair of scissors, give it a cut, and you get twice your money right there. Allows you to test more often. I bet you've got some of these laying around. Old gift cards or gift cards you haven't used yet? Well, they make the perfect algae scrapers. Ask me how I know? Too many times as a maintenance person, when I had my maintenance business, I would show up and, oh my gosh, the scrubby pad fell out of my kit. And so you can use an old credit card, a gift card, even your license to scrape algae off of acrylic and glass tanks. Do know that if you use it a lot, it will delaminate. Don't use your driver's license too much. I've done that and you have to get a new one and uh, each side is its own scraping surface. So if you use one side for way too long, it no longer works very well, you gotta flip it over. And so you can get a lot of uses out of one of these, uh, but it still won't fit in round corners. So just know if you have a bow front or something, mostly best for glass tanks with uh, algae that scrapes off fairly easy. Another trick or hack that I have, buying rocks from a rock yard. So if you've ever been driving down the road and you go, hey, that's a lot of rocks. It looks like they do all kinds of landscaping. Chances are if you go there, they've got some pretty ugly rocks and they've got some, hey, that looks like it's from a river or that's not so bad type of rock. And they might be like 11 cents or 17 cents a pound. And for your normal sized aquarium, or well, I have to use them for really large aquariums sometimes, get a bunch of rocks, throw it on the scale over there and you go, hey, $6.22, I'll take it. Load up your car and uh, away you go. Just give them a quick rinse and all that. Most rocks are gonna be okay, uh, you know, but I really like having lots of matching rocks, different sizes to choose from, and uh, it's nice to have kicking around. So save yourself some money. Instead of spending 60, spend six. Next up, save money on Pleco Caves. Now we sell Pleco Caves and it makes it easy for bristle nose and stuff like that, but you can also DIY your own. We've done a video on that. You can use flower pots. You can use, uh, you can also use the things that are used to like water plants, right? They kind of look like a Pleco Cave and they will work in a pinch, but you need to supply lots of different caves for your Plecos because they don't always like just the one type. You can make them out of tiles. You can make them out of wood. You can make them out of anything really, but just know that you can save quite a bit uh, by doing some of the alternatives. Sometimes you run into it, you're like, wow, price went up on that thing, no longer valid. Uh, and you're always kind of trading time for money, but sometimes it makes sense. If I had to make a hundred of them in here and I didn't already manufacture my own, I would definitely be DIYing them like I have in the past and uh, not too difficult, but does take some tools and you may or may not have that. So it may or may not save. Otherwise, just buy from Amazon and buy those plant watering stakes uh, that we've used for many, many years to breed lots of plecos in different environments. Two for one, we've got Rapashi powder gel food here. So normally you take this powder, you mix it with boiling water and it sets up like jello and you feed your fish and they love it, whether they're plecos, whether they're tetras. If they will eat off the bottom, they will love the community blend, right? But the hack here is you can take this powder and just feed it on the top of the water and it'll feed super duper small fry, you know, rainbow fish fry, guppies, pretty much anything they'll come and eat from the surface. But also there's another one, you can feed lots of baby shrimp or just even a shrimp colony in general by kind of getting it in the water column and letting it fall through. It'll powder coat kind of all of the substrate and that allows your uh, scavengers, you know, your snails and your shrimp to go around the bottom and just get everything you need uh, right out of there. So instead of having all the shrimp piled up on one thing, they can now utilize that whole aquarium. Since you like these five, check out these five that will help you in your aquarium journey to becoming better.